have some staggering numbers to report. Uh, many of us have suffered from some form of back pain, and it turns out that lower back pain in particular sends more than 15 million people to the doctor's office or the ER every year. And that translates into $86 billion in our health care system. Uh, but there's now a treatment that can stop the pain right at its source. And here now to explain more is Dr. Peter Wang, an orthopedic surgeon at Yale School of Medicine. Thank you so much for joining us Thank you this for morning. Me. Um, so it turns out back pain is more common than one might think, specifically lower. And what, it, what is usually the source of that? Well, I think obviously the lumbar spine can cause complaints of back pain, but I think more recently we have identified other potential sources of pain. Sometimes it comes from the hip, mm -hmm. sometimes it comes from the muscles. Uh, and again, more recently we've identified the sacroiliac joint, which is really the link between the spine and the pelvis as being a potential source of pain. It can, uh, this is some of the, the bells and whistles that you've brought with us. This is all the, all the joints that you were talking about. Doctor, I wonder, is this something we're born with and we don't know? Is it something that can come as a result of a trauma or an accident? Um, I was just telling you earlier, for no particular reason, last November my lower back started hurting and I certainly hadn't done anything unusual. Um, but it hurt like heck. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. And uh, unfortunately, there's no classic history for this. Oftentimes, it is associated with trauma. Uh, it is not uncommon during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we've noted is that SI joint problems is very common after people undergo lumbar fusion. But in many cases, there's no history of any type of inciting event that can mm -hmm. bring about these types of symptoms. So tell us about the procedure uh, that you're able to do, and how did you come upon this procedure? Well, the iFuse procedure mm -hmm. uh, allows us to place titanium implants like this. Is this an actual? This is an actual implant. Wow. It hasn't been in anyone, fortunately. Well, thank goodness. I didn't want to have someone's innards on my palm all of a sudden. But through a small incision under image guidance, we're able to put these implants across the sacroiliac joint, mm -hmm. which is right here. Um, it's usually an outpatient procedure. Can you point to where you put it in again? Right so, in there. So this is, this is presumably right someone's here. hip. Yes? Yes, this okay. is the sacroiliac the joint mm -hmm. right here. Okay. So through a small incision, we're able to put these implants. Uh, the procedure itself takes probably less than an hour. In mm -hmm. most cases, people go home the same day. Uh, so I sort of became involved in this procedure because at Yale, we were uh, part of a clinical trial uh, comparing this procedure to standard non-operative care for these patients with sacroiliac joint pain. And the study suggests that this is a very safe and effective procedure for treating this type of back pain. And apparently it is actually quite successful because we have uh, one of your patients, uh, Cheryl, who underwent this surgery. And we actually have a clip of, uh, of what she had to say about it. I can do things, I can plan things, you know. I can get on a plane. I never could get on a plane before and sit in a plane. So I can do that and it's nice. It's just like so awesome. My life is just new, it's just, I'm excited. So explain to us uh, what, what Cheryl went through. Well, this is unfortunately an all too common story. Uh, Ms. Corso had back pain for probably years. Unfortunately, a diagnosis could not be established and she really didn't get any relief from standard uh, care. Uh, she did respond well to an injection. Uh, she did experience relief uh, when injected local anesthetic into her SI joint and she underwent the procedure. She's almost two years out now and has done quite well, still working as a registered nurse. And what I was gonna ask as a follow-up, so after you have this procedure, do you need to come back? Does it, do you have to do the surgery again or is it a one and done deal? Do you have to do physical therapy? Um, in some cases, we do do some physical therapy afterwards, but people tend to bounce back pretty quickly from this procedure, certainly compared to some of the spinal procedures I do. Uh, and if all goes well, uh, this should be the definitive treatment for this condition. Excellent. I know when we first started talking, you said you never want to go see the orthopedic surgeon, but you can come back and visit us anytime. Thank you for Thank uh, you sharing this with us. And uh, hopefully, if you're suffering some lower back pain, you have more information to guard yourself with. So uh, SI Bone Procedure, log on to si-bone.com. And Dr. Wang, thanks so much again for Thank being here much. with us. Ryan.